Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. Hey folks, this is Jack. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, welcome back to the Treasure Coast Zoological Park. We're, again, we're just getting started. This is episode two, obviously. And what we're going to be doing in this episode is we are going to be adding the Aldebara giant tortoise, which is native to a very small island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Africa. And it is uh, considered an... Let's see, what is it? Listen, just it. Here it is. It is vulnerable. They're, they're hunted a lot. These things move like molasses and they're hunted for meat, which of course is how the dodo died and why the Galapagos tortoise, tor tortoise is so endangered. But we're going to put these guys in. Um, let's see if there's anything else we need to be concerned with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nothing that's actionable right at the moment. So we need to, you know, we can just go directly to the build. Now, something interesting, something that I think is interesting at least, is that um, the turtles, the, the model for the turtles they use in this game is nowhere near big enough. I have seen an Aldebara uh, giant tortoise in person, and this thing was almost the size of a, a Volkswagen Beetle. I'm not joking, guys. It was humongous. Just huge. Huge on top of huge. Let's take this up to eight meters so we can have a... Okay, and I'm not laying down a lot of path. I just... I'm going to be putting the, the, the turtles here. And I want to put a path out to them so that I know where to... Where generally I'm placing them. If you know what I mean. That's good enough. That's good enough. One more. Oops, no, I wanted it straight. Thank you. Angle snap, angle snap. Okay. And we'll just do this. Like I said, this I'm doing this as a as a, a bit of a guide so I know where to put the actual habitat. Come on, over here. Over here, guys. Over here, over here. That's it. That's it. Come on. Right there. Yes. Oh yeah, there. Oh boy, troublesome. How troublesome can you get? Nature. So anyway, guys, while I do this initial setup, um, I will be putting both of the uh, giant tortoise species that are in the game into this zoo since they are both endangered and or vulnerable. Um, you know, both Aldebara and Galapagos, which means we're going to have all the turtles that you can find in the game in this zoo because I've already got the Diamondback Terrapin, which is a critically endangered species. Um, the reason it is critically endangered, the Diamondback Terrapin, is because of wetland loss and poaching. People will actually go out into the wild and capture them by the dozen and sell them as pets. And of course, it's a federal fence to do so, but that doesn't mean people don't do it. Um, because let's, let's be honest. When it comes to federal crime, the FBI has a lot better things to look at and be aware of than is some yokel selling illegal turtles. You know, despite the fact that it is a concern, and I'm not trying to make light of the concern, you know, you've also got like gang, you know, gang, gang activity and serial killers and um, terrorism. And so, you know, you can forgive the FBI for not getting right on that turtle problem, you know? Hey, Goliath Frog has had offspring. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. Well, folks, I'm going to turn this over to the speed build, and I will talk to you afterward. Be right back.
Okay, folks, here we have our Aldebara giant tortoise habitat. And these guys got busy quick. I mean, look at this. I started off with four, and now I've got six. Yowzers. Granted that two of them are kids. They're juveniles, just babies. Like here, these are our babies. We do have baby turtles. It's just so cool. Okay, let's see. We're going to rename some animals here. All right, we got a female named Acua. Mm, I don't know. Um, let's call her Edie. Uh, this one we'll call Fatima. This will be Jennifer because I love the name Jennifer. Zaid's fine, but I'm going to change the spelling. There we go. This is going to be Abigail. This is going to be Elden. Or Elton, rather, like the singer, Elton John. Of whom I am a huge fan, by the way. All right. Let's check out our red pandas here. We have three. Are they all adults? Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to send Chow out. Let's see, 7.6, 5.4, and 3.4. Yeah, at least one of these is going away. Um, we shall send... We shall send Chow out. We will uh, release Chow to the wild. Okay. And out of these, out of the ones we, I kept Chow and got rid of the other one, huh? Okay, well, he's going to be Charlie from now on. After my uncle. And this is going to be Tony with an I. There we go. Okay, so here again is our giant tortoise habitat. I love how it looks. I love how it just all comes together. It's got plenty of room. Which is a good thing, because here's the thing about the giant tortoises, and I forgot to do it, but I'm going to do it now, is you must put them on birth control as quickly as possible. Because these things breed like freaking rabbits. And if you, do, and, and if you don't, I mean, look, pregnant, pregnant, you know, we get two pregnant females here. They're gonna, they can drop up to like eight babies at a time. And those babies will stay babies for like 25 years. So your tortoise habitat is going to be... This tortoise habitat is going to fill up very quickly with baby tortoises. And, uh, and at that point, I'll have to put all of them on birth control. Just keep the population under control. Because these things, like I said, breed like rabbits. Is that a, what is this? Why is there food here? Was it the dog ball? It might have been the dog ball. I don't know. Anyway, they they're getting their food. They're getting their lunch. Babies, 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 baby turtles forever. Oh look at this. That's just a, a head dive right into the hay, isn't it? These are cool animals, but like I said, I've seen them in person, and these things can get to be the size of a VW Beetle. So don't think that this uh, this little tiny guy is their actual size, because it's not. All right, is there anything else we need to get done while I'm here? I don't think so. I think we're pretty much we, we've pretty much taken care of it all. Now, I do have, in animal holding, I do have a couple of Galapagos giant tortoises, and I will be adding them to the zoo as well. I do not know if I'm going to be adding them next episode. What I'm hoping to do is come up with a list of animals that I'll be able to put as a graphic on the, on the screen for you. Sorry, I yawned. 
that literally says, these are the animals that I'm going to be including in this zoo, and it will be in this order. Um, right at the moment, I like I said, I, I don't know what the next um, the next animal is going to be. I just, I just don't. Sorry. Um, however, I do have a long list of prospective animals. So let's, if, if I put all of them in, uh, you know, all, all the endangerment categories that I, you know, I look at some of the possibilities. West African lion, that would be a little early, I think, but you never know. Snow leopard, there's an interesting idea. Scimitar horned oryx, which is extinct in the wild. We have a population of them at our um, local zoo. Zoos are the only thing keeping the species alive. So when PETA tells you that zoos are prisons and we shouldn't visit them, you just look that, that animal terrorist in the eye and go, no, they are keeping animals alive. Look at this. The only place you can find this animal now is in zoos. Don't tell me that zoos are bad things. Zoos are not bad things. Zoos are good things. Zoos are very good things. That's the hill I'm willing to die on. You've heard it here first, guys. We will figure it out. It's going to be one of these animals. Um, if I thought about it, hold on a second. I don't think I have a room in this, in this habitat. Yeah, they don't get any bonuses. But I am going to try and combine some habitats, like uh, the Attex, for example. It gets along with the ostrich, the diamond the gazelle, the dromedary camel, and the Somali wild ass. So I'm not just going to make an adax habitat, quote unquote. It'll have other things in it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. If you like this, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And by all means, let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing from you. Comment down below. I will see you in the next episode, guys. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. The law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. The forest protected to prosper. The forest neglected shall die. You've an aptitude to change attitudes, cause we have to prove it. That's right, it's to grab your shovel. There's work to do, the world's in trouble. You gotta build a zoo.